All right, in this fish tour video, we're gonna kind of we're gonna go over these two 40 gallon tanks. Uh, the last two 40 gallon tanks, we did the Super Reds, Super Red Plecos, the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy Blue Tail Guppies. Um, in these two 40 gallon tanks, we have my Blue Deltas. These are the first guppies I got into. Um, as you can see, I got quite a bit. Along in these tanks, well, I should say in the top tank, as for now, I have some. Um, uh, lemon blue eyed, I don't even know, some blue eyed plecos. I'm not, I don't even know. People saying lemon is, I don't know. There's five different ways to say one fish. But these are blue-eyed long fin plecos. I have two males. He's the he's a dominant male. There's another male back up in there. And I have a female back there. Now, normally, traditionally, like with with guppies, it's you want more females to males. Um, some people with plecos say you want one male, two females, or you'll hear you want two males with one female in case she doesn't want to breed with one. Um, I just somehow got fortunate enough to have at least males and females. So I'm really not complaining at all that much. So knowing that males are pretty territorial, I have a big piece of driftwood in the center of the tank, big piece of driftwood, and I have plenty of caves and hiding spots. So even underneath this piece of wood, there's some hiding spots and underneath over there. If you look from the side of the tank, if I have one male over here, he isn't even gonna be thinking about the male on the other side because you can't see him. Um, so these are the, the blue deltas. Now, this tank up here, this is just males. I need to go through and pull out some females. Um, I did have a female, it looked like she's going to give birth. So I pulled her out and she had 60 babies. So these are those 60 babies in this tank. Um, my plan originally was to have males and grow out fry in the top tank because the females will eat the babies. The males won't, they'll chase them, but they won't eat them. Their mouths are too small. So I'd say there's, I'd say there's over 200 fish in this tank, definitely. But I got a big enough filter on it. I got a sponge filter the natural tannins in the water. You can see the water's brown. It helps the fish's health. Um, I got a little, I think this, I don't know what kind of plant that is. I got it from a buddy. Um, I also got cholo wood in there. I had some Indian almond leaves. They're kind of skeletonized now. Um, so these are the males. Down here are the females. See, I'll move this light up and get some color on them. The tank's kind of dirty on the inside. I really don't bother cleaning it unless it gets too bad. But some of these females are really nice. Um, they have nice, like a bluish, yellowish tail, like the males. Um, so, Whenever I get females, whenever I can see the females up in this upper tank, I'll put them down here to grow out. Some of these females, like this girl right here, with the darker tail, she's over two and a half inches long. Because I, I, I know, because I measured her <laughs> when I moved. I measured her when I moved. She was like, just a shy over two and a half inches long. Now, adult, my adult blue deltas, 
I think my biggest batch was 87 fry out of one fish. And they get, I mean, they're so massive. It's really easy for them to have those large amounts. So this tank's pretty bare. Um, when I get my long fin fry, whenever they breed, they're gonna come down in here and I'm gonna add a bunch of more stuff, but I wasn't gonna add stuff until I actually had the pleco fry down in here. I do have some, uh, some autos. I think I have three autos in here. I got the same plant as up there and in here. I just realized that it's kind of anchored itself into the sponge filter. It's not going anywhere. It's actually growing another shoot. Absolutely outstanding. I also have about seven or so. Where'd he go? There he is. Seven or so grow shrimp. When I moved, I had a bunch of these left over. I didn't, I didn't want to just kill them, so I figured I'd throw them in here. They're big enough to where these guppies aren't going to eat them. Because these big girls will hunt down anything that moves. <laughs> and I'm really hoping they won't eat the pleco fry. I highly doubt they will. Because the, the plecos are a little bit bigger than, than a guppy fry. But... I also have one urite snail. <laughs> At a 20 I bought about, oh, probably eight months ago. He's the only one that's left. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, the dual 40 blue delta and uh, long fin blue eyed tank set up. Hopefully I'll get some, some, uh, some pleco fry here soon. She's still a bit young, I think. But I have noticed she's starting to plump up a little bit. And she's hardly ever on the glass, so I can't look into her belly and see if she's got eggs or not. But I'm assuming she's gonna breed with this guy. He's the, he's the dominant male, he's the big boy. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, this is the... Uh, This is the Blue Delta Dual 40 setup. Uh, I really need to get rid of some of these. There's way too many of them in there. <laughs> so like I said, it can handle it. There's just too much going on. Too much going on. So if anybody wants some, let me know. I'll hook you up. I give you good price. <laughs> I give you good price. I think I heard that on a TV show earlier. Um, but yeah. If you like the video, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Maybe hit the notification. You get notified when I put a video out, even better. But uh, yeah, this is this setup. Um, there's a, still a few more 10 gallon tanks I need to go through and what's going on over here. But like I said, there's always more videos to come. So have a nice rest of your night, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at, whenever you're at. And I'll catch you guys next time.